In the first reading today, St. Paul tells us that we preach not ourselves, but Christ. And he says that we ourselves are servants of Christ. Now in the gospel reading, Jesus told us that a servant is not greater than his master. And so therefore, because of that, St. Paul says that we carry these treasures that God has given us in earthen vessels to demonstrate that the surpassing value does not come from us, but comes from God. That's the part that people need to see. Now, because we live in a society that is all about the self, we have to really ask the question, are we being servants of Christ? because that's what it comes down to. We say that he is Lord, we say that he is master, but yet we want to serve ourselves. We want to be our own master. And so that's again that point St. Paul is making. We present Jesus Christ, not ourselves. Is that what we're doing? In other words, just look at your life, look at your day-to-day -day life. When people see you, do they see Jesus? Or they just do they just see you? Are they able to look beyond what they can see just on the natural level to be able to see the treasure that God has given you? And the treasure is the Lord himself. Really think about what, what it is that St. Paul is saying, that if we have been given this treasure that we carry in our earthen vessel, what dwells within this? Our earthen vessel is our own body, and yet the Trinity dwells within us. So we have this in just, well, an infinite treasure. And we in our finiteness, we in our brokenness, have God who is all in all. That's what people need to see. That's what should be flowing from us if we are truly living this the way that we should. So we look at it and we say, okay, Jesus says that the servant should be happy to become like his master. Well, what happened to the master? He was persecuted, he, he, was, he suffered, he was crucified. Jesus tells us what we need to do if we're going to be persecuted. And so with all these things are gonna happen and he makes that very clear. So we need to remain at peace. We need to keep our focus solely on him because remember that's whom we serve. If we find ourselves getting downhearted, getting upset, getting angry because we're being persecuted, then we're not serving the Lord, we're serving ourselves. We're turning in, we're looking at our own belly button rather than looking at the sacred heart of Jesus. So that's what the Lord is asking of us, that's what St. Paul is teaching us. And every one of us needs to be looking very seriously at that question, are we preaching ourselves or are we preaching Jesus Christ? And remember, we preach louder by our actions than by our words. So we can, we can give lip service to Jesus with our hearts far from him. We don't want to be doing that. We need to make sure that our hearts are truly focused on the Lord and that he is the one that we want people to see. He's the one we want people to come to know. He's the one that we want people to love because he's the only means for their salvation. If we have a true love for souls, then we want them to know Jesus. So it has to start with our own self to be able to reject what our world is offering because the world is offering all these treasures that, that are glittery and glitzy and, and, and they look cool and whatever, but they're going to fall apart, they're going to break, they're, they're, they're going to lose their value. We have the Lord. We have the Holy Trinity dwelling within. We have the ability to bring God into the world. That's what the Lord has given. So we have to reject what the world is offering, the treasures that the world is offering, and we have to go to the real treasure, to the infinite treasure, to the treasure of real value, of, of infinite value. And only when we recognize that, and only when we have such a love for our Lord Jesus, that we want to bring him out into the world, that we want others to see him shining through us, then we can say with St. Paul that we don't preach ourselves, but preach Christ. We carry him in this earthen vessel because it demonstrates that the, that the surpassing value is from God, not from us. 
Anybody would be able to see that. Looking at us, they're going to realize this isn't something you're doing yourself. This is God working through you. So we have to get out of the way. We have to let God work. That's what it's all about. But we first have to recognize that treasure that has been given to us, the treasure of the Lord himself, and we have to have such a profound love for him and such a profound love for souls that we will actually allow him to work through this earthen vessel, to work through our humanity, to bring his divinity into the world.